So the knotty problem of trying to get your students to fill in uh, a significant number of, you know, of your students to fill in module evaluation. It certainly is a problem um, and the basics are obvious really. Why should a student fill in uh, module evaluation? Uh, if you just float out a module evaluation and ask them to fill it in, there's really nothing in it for them. I always think, uh, why would I fill in surveys? How many surveys do I fill in? Well, none really. So I think the key issue is making a connection between the act of filling in the module evaluation form and some kind of benefit that the student's going to get. So <coughs> something I've done which I found helpful in a module that I ran last uh, semester which got good uh, quantities of feedback. Uh, the first thing was in week one, right at the beginning, I, when I was introducing the module, I explained some of the changes, in fact all the changes that had been made in response to module evaluation from the previous run of the module. Uh, now that's not chapter and verse and it isn't big details and it doesn't take long but it was it was clear you know students had said this so i've changed this i've done this blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, then i ran the module um, i asked students to fill in the module evaluation on moodle it was available for a fortnight and it had always been listed in the module handbook so it was always the case that uh, i think it was week eight in that module uh, possibly week nine that they were going to fill it in uh, so they got a reminder in the first week. The second of those weeks, I said, look, you really do need to fill it in because next week we're going to be going through the module evaluation and we'll have a look at it on screen and I want to have a discussion and take the points that you've, you've raised. Uh, so far, I said only 30%, I think it was, had filled it in. And I, I need more, far more people to do it than that. Um, and I, I told them, think of a time. Put aside five minutes in the next week. When will you do it? And you just imagine a time. And, and, it, and it worked pretty well that the... Um, the rate got up to uh, over 70, well over 70 percent I think. In the following session I actually projected this up on the screen using the data projector and I just went through the, the module evaluation. I showed them the bar graphs, you know, it, it said what was good and the things that they didn't think were so good. Um, I talked about why some of the reasons I thought those might be and we then had a discussion about it. I was armed with changes that I thought we might make in response to that so uh, one of the things that I wanted to improve was feedback has improved my understanding. It's a module with 130 students on it so you don't get to write 5,000 essay, 5,000 word essays and get feedback on that. You know, it, It's very hard with a module that has that many students to do well in that area. So I was inviting discussion on that. We had discussion and I, and I took those points. And we went through, I showed them not just the bar graphs, but all the comments and everything were there up for them to see. And we just discussed it. And so I talked about uh, the points that I would be changing for the following semester. And, and in fairness, I introduced that session by saying, well, and when I was encouraging them to fill in the um, module evaluation, I said, you know, you, you have benefited because last time students filled in the module evaluation and so you've done well for that and it's your turn so that's fair and that I guess engaged them enough and, and feedback was a quantity of feedback was good